I only want you guys to experiment if you're ready for the ride of human design. So my invitation to you as a gate 29, which is about commitment to a process or a journey of discovery. My only question, my, my asking of you is only go forward if you're committed to your own personal process. I don't want tire kickers. I don't want anybody who wants me to convince them of this working. I want you to really be sold on it already and be ready to do the work because it is challenging to change the way that you make decisions. So this is not a human design slide. This is a guy named James Clear, James Clear who has a blog. And I really liked his very simple um, articulation in an article about how we change our habits. So my first recommendation to you to change your habits of the not self tendencies is to first remember to recognize them. And how do you do that? You understand the signposts of the open centers and how they speak to you inside of your mind about yourself. So one of the most common places, I usually pick on my heart center, but let's go to thinking about things that don't matter, the head center, because 70% of the population have it undefined. So it's not just thinking about things that don't matter. It's specifically, more specifically, thinking about things that don't matter to you. So when your mind gets, loses focus and it's going, oh, what about that experience? And I should have said this. And next time I'm going to say that. And if I do this, I'm going to get X, Y, and Z. And I've got to figure it out. And it's got to make sense. And I have to find the answers to all my questions. And you're just going down this, the road of the internet. And you're looking late at night, trying to find the answers to how this works. I mean, you lose a lot of energy if you're thinking about things that don't matter to you because now you're trying to resolve this pressure to understand existence when maybe it doesn't really matter right here, right now. Okay, so that's an example of that one function, that one center, head center, undefined, and how it shows up in the quote unquote not self or in the shadow state is your conditioned mind thinks, I have to answer this question right now. Life will fall apart if I don't understand why existence or why my existence, you know? So you're thinking about things that don't necessarily matter. You might think it matters to you, but is it really necessary to expend that energy in this moment? The decision comes from decision-making strategy. Somebody recognizes and invites you and you get emotionally clear and you take your time and you're not stressed and you're not pressured. That's a different story than this, <gasps> gotta figure it out. And then you're like freaking out and you can't sleep. This is the pineal gland. Yeah, the, the head center. So if you're overusing that pressure and stress, you're amplifying it. What happens is now you can't sleep and your melatonin's all screwed up. Okay, so that's the example, the cue or the trigger that starts the habit to help you change your habits. Okay, so in this example on the slide, it says traffic light turns green. Oh, when the light's green, I go. Just like that, you know, it's, it's that mindless um, automatic habit. Thinking about things that don't matter. Okay, so we know if we're losing focus and we're running around trying to answer everyone else's questions without them asking, and we start to feel pressure and stress mentally and mental anxiety, that's your sign. That's like the green light. That's the signpost. Hey, maybe are you trying to answer or thinking about things that don't necessarily matter to you and answering everybody else's questions? So what do we do once we get that hint, that reminder that this is where we have a big old stop sign, not a green light. It says, okay, let's change our habit. Let's have something different happen. Let's have a new outcome if we can just get out of that mental state of anxiety, confusion, doubt, uncertainty. So the action you take, the habit you, you, itself is go back to, if you're a generator, who am I for myself? Am I really responding in my body or am I living up in my mind? Yeah, is there a response in my body? Yes, no. Is, there, is, there, is this a mind trip? Am I really lost and confused in an illusion? The mind 
process, the way that it remembers things and the way that it processes the future, it doesn't actually know crap about your own life. And that's where we have to change. So the routine, the habit itself is decision-making strategy. Am I responding? Have I been recognized and invited, says Livina? Am I emotionally clear? Or is this just amplifying mental pressure that's making me have fear? Okay? So we change our state. The reward, instead of taking that action that we normally do, run around and try to answer everybody else's questions, we have a reward. The best reward is a physiological state, changing your physical state, your physiological physiological presence. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Oh my God, I can feel like that stress just roll off of me. You know, you just <sighs> pause because most of us are about waiting. Pause, breathe. Half of us really need to breathe. We don't breathe because we're all stressed out and anxious. So breathe and reward yourself when you find yourself remembering to put a stop sign in that habit of whatever it is that you do because your mind is telling you to do that thing. Okay, so the reward is victory. You know, you put your arms out, you stand with your hands on your hips, you feel proud, just pat yourself on the back, you share about it with a friend, like celebrate that victory. Tell me about it, tell us about it. Tell your buddy that you're studying human design about it. Really celebrate this. Life is about the small habits that build up into greater and greater and greater experiences of existence. These little tiny rewards, you know, you feel different because your state is different. When I was all anxious, I could feel myself hunching over and pretending to be anxious and going, Ugh, right? But you don't do that if you feel good. You don't, you know? So really pay attention to the body state, the body state, the embodiment, your life force flowing through you will feel very different when you're in spiritual harmony with yourself. And that spiritual harmony with yourself, hi, generator, you're going to show up satisfied. Projector, you're going to feel successful and you're going to see that success reflected in the world around you. Manifester, you're going to feel peaceful. You're not going to be angry anymore. Reflector is going to be surprised by what life brings instead of bitterly disappointed. Bitterly projector, disappointed reflector. Okay, so... That's the reward. If the reward is positive enough, you'll have a desire to remember and repeat the action. If there's no reward from all of this, you won't do it. So make sure you reward yourself, not with cookies and ice cream, especially if you got gate 30 and you're a sugar, sugar addict. Reward yourself with your state, with your body, with your embodiment.